Is this the brightest orange pigment in the entire world? It might be. We're going to find out today. This is fluorescent neon tangerine orange by Hemway. Hemway makes a whole bunch of different powders, pigments, and glitters, and this one really caught my eye. They were kind enough to send it over so we can try it out. Let me show you this stuff in powder form. Put on your sunglasses. This stuff is ridiculously bright. Now, it's a pigment, not a pearl. So I have a funny feeling, thank you, that we are going to have a hard time mixing and blending this one, but Gabe will get it done for us. So we're gonna be mixing this into satin next-gen top coat, spraying it over a white base as we normally do for fluorescent pigments, and we're working with the S4 today. Now, as far as pigment load, Gabe, thoughts? Because I don't wanna be here all day and we know that fluorescent pigments don't traditionally cover very well. I say we load it up, 100 grams. 100 grams a gallon? Okay, they were nice enough to send 300 grams because it's always better to be safe than sorry, even if we're, even if we're not gonna use all of that. So these bags are 50 grams each. Here goes 50, oh yeah. This is nuts. And then this is gonna be 100. I don't know if we're gonna be able to disperse it at all using the, uh, the classic paint stick. We might have to break out the dispersion blade like usual just to get it to blend. Wow, this stuff is freaking bright. See, already I can tell that the, the orange in the powder is different than the orange in the liquid. How would you describe that? It's more like a sunset orange in powder and then just this neon craziness. Yeah, actually, right, look at the powder versus the, once it goes into liquid, it completely gets intensified. Now we don't have a stick of truth here because showing it to you over black isn't really gonna mean much. And it's gonna be pretty translucent anyway, but as you can see, clumpy, kind of see-through, but the trick to this is dispersing it well, spraying a lot of coats, I'm assuming, and getting that pigment to build up. It's gonna be super bright, I can't wait, let's go. All right, guys, we're all done with the project. Now, a couple quick things about this pigment. Like most fluorescent pigments, the coverage is not strong. So if you're gonna play with this stuff, however much pigment you think you're gonna need, get extra. The second thing, fluorescent pigments by nature don't always have the longest lifespan after UV exposure. Some of them can fade pretty quickly in the sun. As far as this particular pigment, we're not exactly sure how long it'll last after UV exposure, but we will be keeping you guys up to date and letting you know if it's suitable for long time use. It is marketed as an automotive pigment, but it may come down to whatever medium you're using the pigment in and relying on that for UV resistance. So we'll keep you updated as you go. 
I'm going to leave a link in the description box below if you want to play with this stuff. But as far as whether or not it's the brightest orange in the world, we're taking it outside right now. I think you're going to be surprised. You know what to do. Take a look at the car, leave a comment below, and rate this color one through five. Let me know if you love it or if you hate it. If you want to dip your own car, your own wheels, your own emblems, click right up here. All of our kits are in one place for you. I had a ton of fun on this project. I hope you guys enjoyed watching it. I'll see you on the next one.